Hey there, Louis Acabalis here. Thanks for stopping by. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use Internet Explorer mode in Microsoft Edge. Now, before we get started, if you find this tutorial helpful, please hit that thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already to stay up to date on the latest tutorials that I publish. Now, let's go ahead and let's get started. All right, now at the time of recording this tutorial, Microsoft Internet Explorer is about one month away from hitting its end of life. Now specifically on June 15th, 2022, Microsoft is going to be pushing out an update to Windows 10 that is going to disable Internet Explorer. So if a user tries to access Internet Explorer after that update has been pushed out, to their operating system to Windows 10, it's automatically going to redirect them to use Microsoft Edge, which is the Microsoft modern browser and the replacement for Internet Explorer. Now, if you really like Internet Explorer and you'd prefer to keep using it, you are in luck because Microsoft actually implemented a mode in Edge that allows you to open websites in Internet Explorer mode. Now, unfortunately, you won't be able to click the classic Internet Explorer icon. Again, you're going to be doing this through Microsoft Edge, but you still can open legacy websites or perhaps websites that um, are older or applications that are older and that are still optimized for use with Internet Explorer. So now let's go ahead and let's look at how to open a website in Internet Explorer mode through Microsoft Edge. All right, now to use Internet Explorer mode in Microsoft Edge, the first thing that you need to do is you need to click on the settings and more button here at the top of your browser. Next, you wanna go ahead and click on settings. And here you wanna go ahead and click on default browser. You can see here it says allow sites to be reloaded in Internet Explorer mode. And again, this is set to don't allow. Now you can go ahead and select allow or default. If you want to enable this again, you want to click on allow. And again, this is going to give you that option to reload any website in Internet Explorer mode. Now you'll notice when I set it to allow, it is prompting me to restart my browser. But before I go ahead and click on this, what I'm going to do is I'm also going to call your attention to this last option here. And essentially what this is, is you can actually go ahead and set up certain websites to always open in Internet Explorer mode. And you'll see that this text says it can only be done 30 days at a time. So you can add a page and then for the next 30 days, you'll be able to just automatically navigate to that site or page in Edge and it's automatically going to open in Internet Explorer mode. Now, if you wanted to do that, you could go ahead and click on the add button and then put your URL here. And then again, whenever you navigate to that site within that 30 day window, it'll just automatically open in IE mode. Now I'll go ahead and cancel this and I'm gonna restart my browser here. Now you can see that the settings have been committed here. Now, in order for you to actually reload a page in Internet Explorer mode, what you need to do is you need to navigate to that site or that page and then you wanna go ahead and right click on that page in your menu bar. And you'll see here this option that says reload tab in Internet Explorer mode. So if I go ahead and click on this, you're going to see this prompt here that says this page is open in Internet Explorer mode. And it's also going to prompt you that, you know, most pages work better in Microsoft Edge or other modern browsers. And you can also see here that you can actually just toggle on, open it, this page in Internet Explorer mode the next time that you navigate to it. And again, that's going to put it in that list that we just looked at. Now, I will just close out of this and I'll hit the little X here. You can see it's still loading. So again, you know, newer websites are not gonna be optimized for Internet Explorer. And so you may see performance issues um, as you're kind of seeing here, it's taking a really long time to load. Now, a few other notes, you'll know that you're in Internet Explorer mode when the IE icon appears at the top of your address bar in Edge. And you can also see here this button that's going to say open in Microsoft Edge. Now, if I want to exit Explorer mode, I can click on that button and I'm going to go ahead and do that. And you can see here again that this is just kind of 
taking a really long time, it's not responsive. And the other way to exit out of IE mode is to right click on your page and you'll see this option that says exit tab from Internet Explorer mode. Now you can see that that page was taking a really long time to reload in IE mode. So I've shut down that browser instance and I've navigated to a new site. I'm gonna go ahead and try this again. So right click on the actual site icon and click reload tab in IE mode. I'm gonna click done. And you can see here that the NFL.com website reloaded in IE mode. Now you can see I'm trying to close my vertical tabs here uh, and that isn't permitted when you're actually using Internet Explorer mode. So I'll just go ahead and turn them off. And you can see here that I am able to navigate this website in Internet Explorer mode. And again, modern websites may not load, they may not be compatible with Internet Explorer. And so you can see that this page is not really um, loading as efficiently as it would if I was just navigating to it from Microsoft Edge. So that's it. This was just a quick tutorial showing you how to use Internet Explorer mode in Microsoft Edge. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please hit that thumbs up below. And most importantly, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already to stay up to date on the latest tutorials that I publish. I'm Louis Yacobales. Thanks for stopping by. Talk soon.